We're gonna do a seated row, but we are going to use a curl bar attachment. The reason why I like to use this one here is because we have the little straight end right here, which kind of forces our elbows to be up when we do the motion. You can use the wide grip lat pull down bar. It's just a little more awkward to me. This one's a little more easier to handle. So take your pick, whatever you want is fine. We're gonna grab it as wide as we can. We're gonna put our feet onto the base plate before we lean back. Go ahead and start that again, please. Come forward because there's one key thing I wanna make sure everyone sees. I don't want you to start with your back rounded. From here, we want to keep our chest up. <laughs> chest up. <laughs> chest up, damn it. And then use your legs to push yourself back. This way, we don't put too much strain onto the spine. Once we're in this position, now we're ready to go. We're going to keep our chest upright. We're going to look towards the upper part of the frame of the machine. We're going to really focus on keeping the elbows flared up and out. And we're going to exhale, pulling it back to that upper ab, lower part of the chest right here. This way we can get a full squeeze into the whole upper part of the back. That's going to be our target. It will pull on the lat, but at the end of the motion, it will squeeze on the inner back. So with the grabbing as wide as we can, elbows up, you're going to inhale forward, exhale as we pull back. And on our last one, when we rack the weight, we want to be careful of not rounding our back. Scoot forward. <laughs> Can't get it there. <laughs> he's, he's too tall. He's a bad example. Just slide forward or let the damn thing go. Don't round your back. Yeah, okay. fuck that. My bad, guys. My bad. Don't slam the weight. I was just kidding. <laughs>